Chase, chasewins.com, Venture Sports Consulting. Happy Friday, everyone. If you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe. We really do appreciate it. Share this video, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you have, share it. We are going to be picking two winners to get a free 30-day all-access pass out of the people that do share this video on one of those platforms or both. So make sure that you do that. And um, I'm going to give you guys a free play in the NHL. I promise you that I would have at least one more free play for Friday. Now, I did record a free play video yesterday evening, and it took – pretty much all night to upload so had it posted about 5 30 this morning and there is two well technically three free pl plays on that one video two official you know normal free plays and then one that would be you know probably considered a strong lean but three nonetheless in total it also had a recap from you know the previous um you know the previous day since the last video that we had done it also had some really nice uh, information on how to get linked up with us this weekend and a bunch of good stuff. A little bit longer of a video, but a ton of free information, some really good breakdowns, and um, three different plays that you can go in and cash in big in college basketball tonight. One is a late afternoon play, one or two, and then the other two are both um, night action. So if you have not already watched that video, once you finish watching this one, go into the description below, click the link for the other video. It'll take you straight to it. That way you can make sure that you get all of the free play information that we have today and then end up cashing in on all four of these, these free play winners. So just a real quick rundown in case any of you uh, were wanting to get linked up for this weekend so you can cash in a bunch of tickets with us because obviously this weekend we've got some great action going in the NFL, college basketball, NBA, NHL, soccer. I mean, we have got a ton going on. It's already been a very, very big and very profitable week, and it's going to be an even bigger weekend, which is starting today. Um, what you can get today is um, a three-day soccer pass. Jerry's soccer weekend pass, 30 bucks. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every soccer play that he has for the weekend. Don't miss out on that. If you want something um, to where you can get all the sports, not just one, you can get on a three-day all-sports pass, $50. Can't beat it. If you want to get something a little more bang for your buck, 99 bucks gets you a seven day all sports pass. Um, and we also have two of our, you know, two of our, you know, two of, <laughs> out of our, two of the most popular packages that we have. So out of our, the most popular packages that we have, um, which is about five in total, we picked two of those to put on sale for the weekend. The first one, a 30 day all plays pass, standard 30 day, um, premium membership normal price is $399 for that it is on sale for $299 until midnight Sunday night Eastern Standard Time um, it's on the website price is already adjusted for you so you don't have to enter a coupon code or anything like that and then um, the big discount that we've got running is on the 30-day all-access pass so 30 days all sports all premium plays, all daily top plays, any games of the week, month, year, everything is included. When you are on an all-access pass, you literally get everything for the length of that pass. So that's 30 days. That is a $499 package. And until Sunday at midnight, you can get it for $399. Again, that price is also already adjusted on the site. You don't have to do any coupon codes. Just log in. Just go to chasewins.com. Go to the purchase page. Click on it. Sign up. As soon as you pay, boom. You can click right there on your members tab and you have instant access to today's plays. Speaking of today's plays, right now Jerry has three premium soccer plays. First one going at 2.30 p.m. Eastern time. All three are already posted on the site, ready to go, ready to cash. NCAA basketball, I have seven premium plays. Yes, seven premium plays. All seven of them are already on the site, posted, ready to go. They've been up for a while now. First play goes 5 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, NHL, one play. Post it on the site, ready to go. 7 p.m. Eastern time. And as far as the NBA goes, I am eyeballing a couple of games. Still waiting on some information that probably won't be available for a few more hours. Uh, once I get it, if they meet the cut, I will get them posted and let everyone know. And if they don't, you know, we'll just have 11 plays for today. So a huge, huge card. It's already posted, ready to go. Go to chasewins.com. 
go to the purchase page, pick out whatever package you want. The second that you pay, click your members tab, boom, you have instant access to every single play right there. That way you can cash in on all these winners with us. Let's get on a free play. So when I say this, you're probably going to, you know, kind of stake a step back and be in shock for a second. But hopefully once I get done, you'll see my side of things. And, you know, if you agree with me, great. You can play it. If not, you can do what you want. NHL, 7 p.m. game as well. Buffalo Sabres, Washington Capitals. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the pick, and then I'm going to tell you why. Because when I tell you the pick, you're going to, you know, most of you or anybody that follows hockey or knows anything about hockey is probably immediately going to disagree with me the second that I say it. Washington and Buffalo. We're going to go over the total tonight. And I know what you're thinking. There's a lot of people out, a lot of players out in this game. The majority of which all play for Washington. Both teams have players out. Washington has a lot of players out. Ovi's out, Ovechkin. Not only the best player between the two teams, not only one of the best players in the NHL, the best player to ever play for the Washington Capitals, and undoubtedly a top, you know, one of the top ten best players to ever play the sport. He's out. That's a big deal. <clears throat> that is a big, big deal. Not only that. You have a lot of players out for Washington all because of COVID protocol and <clears throat> whatever nonsense. So, what would be your first reaction in two teams that are polar opposites, somewhat of a mismatch when you actually have healthy teams, and undoubtedly the best player not going to be there, and a team that's overwhelmingly shorthanded because of COVID protocol, what would be your first initial thought under right and you wouldn't be wrong but let me tell you why we're going to go over there's two reasons number one the line opened up or the total opened up at five and a half when it did i like the over five and a half there was a reason that i did not pull the trigger until now when the total was sitting at five and a half and that was because when it was obviously it's not anything new it's not you know it's not new information that both of these teams were going to have players out Washington was going to be as shorthanded as they were, that Ovechkin was going to be out. That's not, that's not you know, anything new. Everybody knew that going into today, so, you know, it was what it was. Five and a half, you know, because if all these players were in, this, this would be a six and a half opening line all day long. So it opens up at five and a half, and even though I liked it at five and a half, my first initial thoughts was I'm not going to do anything unless it moves. But the reason that I thought it would move is, I, I, you know, you start looking at this list of players that are out, Ovechkin being the main one, the one that's going to really catch everybody's attention. People are going to look at it, and they're going to have under on their brain so much that money's going to start flooding in on that under because people are not going to be able to justify anything else. And if they keep getting enough and building enough momentum – the odds makers just may drop this thing down from five and a half to five. So after about three and a half, four hours of me checking it every little while, just, you know, trying to see if anything's changed, out of nowhere, boom, William Hill drops the line to five. A couple of moments later, Circa drops the line to five or drops the total to five. The second that they did that, I locked that play in. And right now, William Hill and Circa both still have five. Money has been absolutely pouring, and I mean pouring in, on the under for the past three solid hours. So, and for good reason, honestly. I mean, people are putting money on the under and they are, it's, it is a, it is more than validated to do so. But the reason that I believe that this, you know, this is going to be an over, it's going to be over five, going to be over five and a half, you know, you know, very well. If I had to take a guess gun to my head, I would say seven, maybe eight points in this game. And this is why. Even with all the players out, it doesn't matter who's going to be out. Everybody Washington has is very, very quick. They're an overall, they're a fast team. They have been for a long time. They'll continue to be. Buffalo is a team that is an over team, and that is because they get out there, they set good plays, they attack the net, and when they get into a rhythm, they fire off so many shots on goal, very similar to the way Vegas does. And in the case of they could go two, three minutes without two, three, four, five minutes without a single shot on goal. But then in a two minute span, put up seven, eight, nine shots on goal. When they get start putting shots on goal, they literally hammer it till they can't do it anymore. 
And one thing about Buffalo is even though they're not over, an overly talented team, they know how to draw up plays well. When they get into a rhythm, they do it. They take good shots. On top of that, they are a, you know, a very above average power play team. Now, remember what I say that. They're a very above average power play team. They get a power play tonight and a very shorthanded Washington team. They are going to put a puck in the back of the net on power play. Not only that, you say, well, you know, are they going to get the power plays? Again, a shorthanded Washington squad relying on their more inexperienced players as fast as they are. I think we see each team have at least two power plays. Each team score at least one goal off of power plays alone. And each team, you know, before the end of the second period, having one, at least one non-power play goal, we're one goal away just right there from pushing. I think this game goes over and goes completely opposite of what all of these things make you believe. A fast team, a very, very high percentage shots on goal team, a team that draws up scoring plays well, a team that is very good on the power play against a very fast team that will commit the penalties to give the power play and will not be able to defend the power play well because of the young, inexperienced, you know, being leaned on because of how shorthanded this team will be. I think it'll be the perfect storm. I think it will go over. And I think that it will surprise the world who just believes that it's only that it can only go one way because of being shorthanded and Ovechkin being out. Now, five runs that is your to- or five goals over the total of five is an official premium play. If you are using a local book or an offshore account and they have not adjusted the line and they are still sitting at the original opening total of five and a half. You can still play the over, and I am okay with it. I still like it. I don't like it near as much because you don't have the ability to push, and obviously it's higher. If you have to play five and a half to play the game, play over, but drop your wager from a premium to a lean. Do not wager premium level money on a fi- uh, over five and a half. That is reserved for five goals. You're going to be laying $1.35 at five goals of William Hill or Circa. Go get it. Washington Capitals, Buffalo Sabres, over five goals, 7 p.m. Eastern time tonight. Go get it. Go to chasewins.com. Go to the purchase page. Jump on a package. As soon as you do, click your membership tab. Go get access to all 11 premium plays that are posted tonight across three sports. Go click the link in the description below to check out the other video from early, early this morning with three additional uh, free plays all in NCAA college basketball. I love you guys. I can't wait for a huge weekend. Go jump on something. Go to Twitter. Follow me at Picks Chase. I'll have some more information up later this afternoon. And let's kick off a huge, huge weekend. See you guys.